Music is our passion. It's like a religion to us. This is Islamabad, though it's not the capital city you hear about in the news. This is the Islamabad that lives underground. In a city known for little more than its lack of culture, an alternative culture is growing. Dreams as old as music itself are still being dreamt. Hash and Yellow Ash a relatively newer addition to the underground music scene in Islamabad are preparing for their first concert. <laughs> Tomorrow is a big day. Our first performance, I mean, our major concert, it's a big breakthrough for us. All the efforts, all the hard work, it has given us something, a chance of a lifetime. As pleasant as these dreams might be, they live in a real world that isn't always the friendliest place. There are those who will testify to this. Abbas Ali Khan is a bit of a veteran on the Islamabad music scene. He's had a fair amount of success in the mainstream, but also understands the challenges of the underground. Everybody wants to be a rock star, but it's not that easy and the grass is always greener on the other side. Especially in Pakistan, things are not that organized. We don't have a proper infrastructure here. And um, I mean, unlike, in, uh, unlike the West, we have to do everything ourselves. It's a do-it-yourself kind of a philosophy. Samrat Ghafoor is the mainstay of Islamabad's music scene and is one of the few genuine success stories that this city has to offer. Apart from being a seasoned musician, Samrat is the most prolific music producer in the city, having worked with mainstream professionals and underground acts alike. Uh, typically, when people are starting out, um, they, they think that they're going to record a song, make a video, and they're going to be a hit. That doesn't really happen. Um, what happens typically is uh, either you're going to be a hit, which is very rare. You know, I can't tell you in percentage, but maybe you know, 0.5% or something. Um, second, you're going to be a flop, as is 90% of the case. Come on, Jorge! Are you ready? Even in the underground, success, as always, is the golden goose. In stark contrast to their Western contemporaries, underground musicians in Islamabad do not actively choose their underground status. Their position in the scheme of things has less to do with a distaste for the mainstream. One of the defining factors between these two worlds is money. Money is important because we need money for our equipment management, for our recordings, for our daily finances for the band as well. People treat rock bands or every other band 
just like for free beggars. I mean, uh, a dhol player on the street is getting more payment than a rock band. Shayad nahi hai tera mera milan Tere mere is janam mein Mukit sings for another young band called Kafas. He's recording the vocal track for his band's third single. Despite the best of their efforts, their first two songs failed to make an impact. It's all about coverage. It's it's about contacts. If you can reach your channel through any crowd, you can transfer your music to your crowd. So that is what gets you up. New artists, hain. they are not getting a chance to come up. Because they are new, they are learning this process, ke kya, what does it take to survive in the industry. So they uh, don't have proper koi guidance, koi proper channel for them. And they don't know what steps are, I will go through this step, so I can share my music, my talent with the world. Okay, that's smart, okay? Let's go. Keep on it. Well before getting a song or video airplay, bands usually have to contend with a fundamental question. Where is the money to record a song going to come from? In a quality conscious market, finesse is key. It also doesn't come cheap. It could be anywhere from 10,000 to 90,000 a song. If, you know, someone is charging you just 10k for a song and he'd probably be doing everything himself and if someone is charging you say 90k you know then uh, he'd be involving other musicians you know a professional drummer a professional bass player a professional guitar player I'm, I'm talking about typically in uh, a solo artist right so I mean when professional people are uh, adding to your song it's gonna be much better than you know just one man job as far as the underground bands are concerned, they production not so well to their production. The reason being, it costs a lot. There are no concerts that you get paid gigs, so you can go to the producer and produce a good producer. So it's the alternate way that you go to a cheap studio, which is comparatively a good production. You go to that, but when the comparison comes to that production from the mainstream, then you get to kill the underground bands. At the root of this apparent non-seriousness surrounding young music in Pakistan lies a consistently ridiculed position accorded to its practitioners. Usually they feel like they are Marasi. 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 Usually they feel like I can't think of going out in a public place and, you know, with, with my guitar and, you know, just start singing anything. Even to my friend, uh, you know, after four hours, somebody will come and either look at you like that or say, So that way, society, from the society point of view, it is a bit difficult. It is this uncertainty, this insecurity in the nature of this pursuit that keeps many from being able to commit to it completely. It's not just students who feel torn between passion and social responsibility. Khurram Vakar is a 32-year-old manager in the telecom industry. He's been an active musician for 18 years now. His current band, Kayas, has been around only for a year. In this time, the band has managed to record a complete album, all the while holding down jobs, academics, even families, struggle. It's just the way things are. This unique situation has made many musicians part performers, part tacticians. 
that there's nothing in full time music in Pakistan unless unless uh, you know you, you have some sort of you know a, a scene going people know you when you talk about Europe and the US and all those markets there's a proper industry uh, it's really hard because I'm also a part time musician I'm not a full time singer musician I I have my own thing going on and that's only because uh, music doesn't pay uh, at least not for not to everybody uh, so one has to do something else and i think it's 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 better if you have a backup because not everybody gets successful in music